In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best meta point guard build in NBA 2K22 next gen. But before we hop into things, if you're tired of grinding badges in NBA 2K22 next or current gen, then be sure to hit up my boys over at Hero Grinders. Top links in the description. Also, if you could do me a really quick favor and scroll down and smash that big red subscribe button as well as like the video, that would be greatly appreciated. As you guys can see, we are in the My Player Builder, and as I said, we are gonna be a point guard. For the body settings, first, we're gonna actually drop our height down to 5 foot 10. For the weight, you're gonna wanna go ahead and drop this down to 150 pounds. This way you're just as fast as possible. This may seem very short to you guys, but at this stage in the game, pretty much all the really sweaty meta point guards are 5'10 or even shorter. This is mostly due to the fact that you're really fast, you have really good playmaking and shooting, you're really hard to bump, and mismatch expert is OP. If you guys want a tall point guard build, I recommend checking out this video where I showed you guys the top three builds in the game right now. And in that video, I did show you guys two other point guard builds, one of which was six foot two, and one of which was six foot eight. And I'd recommend you guys check it out if you guys are interested in taller builds. And then for the wingspan, you're gonna want to go ahead and drop this down to six a foot. This is the highest you can go while still having that 99 three point rating, which is absolutely overpowered. As you guys can see, we are on the attributes screen. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and do first for finishing is bump up your close shot to a 64. You will have two finishing badges. Now I've tried this build out and with this build, I almost never really go in the paint since I have such a high three point and mid range and pretty much always strictly three point or mid range hunting. But on like a fast break or something, when I have a wide open lane, I'm not smoking a wide open layup or a wide open close shot. Even though I do only have a 25 driving layup. Scrolling down to shooting, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is max out your three point rating to a 99 and then bump up your mid range to a 64. In total, you have 39 shooting badges, which is absolutely insane. Next, on a two hour playmaking badges, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much max out all three of these categories. What I would actually recommend you guys go ahead and do is drop the ball handle and the speed with ball both down to 96s. You'll still have the exact same badge count, the exact same badge unlocks, so there's really no reason not to do this. And also the speed of your dribble moves or the speed of your dribbling doesn't get changed at all. For the defensive slash rebounding badges, what I would recommend you guys go ahead and do first is max out perimeter and max out steel. Actually, I would recommend dropping down the steel one rating to a 98 just to save a couple of attribute points. On this build, you're not really going to be playing too much defense, but you can definitely hold your own. On to the physicals, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is basically max out speed and acceleration. I would actually recommend dropping down the speed two ratings to a 96. The two ratings don't make a difference, but dropping them down two does help you get a couple extra batch points. And then finally, you're going to want to max out stamina. With these last few ratings, you can honestly just throw it wherever you want. Personally, I'm going to throw it on free throw. In total, this build has 101 badges, which is honestly crazy. Its shooting and its playmaking are on elite levels, and its defense is also super good. If you guys do want a higher free throw, since 52 is pretty low, what I'd recommend you guys go ahead and do is drop the speed down one rating. You will then be able to unlock a 93 free throw, which is just insane. Onto another variation of this build, which is going to have driving dunk. I'm not gonna lie, you do have to kind of do a lot to unlock driving dunk, but here's what I would recommend doing. First, I would drop the free throw down to minimum, and then I would also drop the mid range down to an 84. After that, I would drop your pass accuracy to an 82. You'll still have 35 and 35 in playmaking and shooting. And then finally, I would recommend dropping down your steal to a 94 and then also dropping down your acceleration to a 97. I would also recommend dropping down your close shot to a 54. And then if you throw all of those ratings onto driving dunk, you can get a 72 driving dunk and also six finishing badges. In my opinion, this variation is worse, but that's just because of how I play. If you do want to rim run from time to time, then definitely throw these ratings onto driving dunk. Onto the takeovers, what I would recommend doing first is going with limitless range. 
And then for a secondary takeover, you could go with whatever you want. But for me, I'm going to go with ankle breaking shots since it's just such a fun takeover. And as you guys can see, we have built a play shot. This name does make a lot of sense in my opinion. It is very similar to the play shots from last year. But with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for the video. If you found the video helpful or enjoyed it, scroll down, drop me a like, and also subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified next time I'm dropping some more gems on y'all. Click one of the videos on the screen right now, such as the top three builds in the game, the best dribble sticks in the game, or the best jump shot in the game. Go follow my Twitter, and I'm out. Peace.